Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I wanted to cover something very different. So I wanted to talk about what's new in uh, uh, Spring 20 release. So it, if you are planning to do your administration certification maintenance um, exam. So yeah, this um, my current lecture will cover most of the stuff associated with it. Um, so Salesforce had uh, new stuff, uh, which is pretty good. So let's look at some of the stuff that were added uh, in spring 2020. And uh, the first one is, um, so what they've done, now you can actually create a, a, a record page with the default field values. So for instance, I wanted to create an account, right? When you create an account, uh, so most of the things are empty, right? Name, account number, owner's ID, uh, address, you know, a number of employees, uh, other checkboxes if you have. So let's say I do not want all these options to be empty. Instead, I wanted to populate with the default value. So what I can do, I can create a custom button and populate that with the default value of an existing account, right? Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so I've done one. Uh, so the way you do it, so let's go to an org. So uh, just go to uh, your setup. And um, let's dive into account. Um, I've created a, a, a button already. Um, so I just gave a funny name. So you can <laughs> give a meaningful name. So I'll create a test, right? Um, so you got a button, create a new button. So uh, let's go to edit. Um, so I've created a detail page button and a copy page that exactly the same except the last one, I took that off because I don't want it to, I want to just make it uh, simple just to prove the point, right? Um, so one thing you have to be very careful though, if we copy paste here, right? Something like this, uh, let me show you. Um, so um, if you copy paste it here, uh, this one won't work because of the spaces, right? So I, when I first tried it, uh, it didn't work. I was wondering what's going on? Then I realized I got some extra spaces here, so you got to take up the space. Um, it sounds a bit silly, but unfortunately, I don't know why the spaces can be a problem, but for some reason didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, so that's sorted, right? So then I go back to, so you can do this, and then you go back to your uh, uh, account, and let's see how it works, right? Um, um, so you got to count, right? And I've added the button here. I presume everyone knows how to add this uh, button here. You just go by going to page layout and drag and drop uh, the button to your page, right? Fantastic. So when I click on test one, it should populate uh, a create a record page with information like um, uh, account name, uh, account owner, account number, and probably uh, the number of employees, right? It's default to 3,500, sorry, uh, 35,000. So you go here uh, and go to test one. I mean, it's just a silly name. You can put whatever um, legit name you want it, right? Which makes sense. So there you go. Uh, we got um, uh, account name, account number, employees. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Right, that's the first thing. Um, let's see another one. So now you can assign a task to queue. Um, so uh, so what happens is that, let's say you're working on a task, right? And you want uh, a members from specific queue to take the task and, you know, and take the ownership of the task. So the way you can do is that create a task and uh, assign it to a uh, queue. I'll show you how to do it. Um, go to this tic-tac-toe icon on the left-hand side screen um, and go to task. Um, and create a task and you will see. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to assign it to Q. That's pretty much all you have to do. Fantastic, right? That's all you have to do. So that's another option. Okay, now we they have improved... Uh, uh, something uh, on the Lightning App Builder, 
with UTIPs and MUTIPs. So tips will give you something wrong with the page. Um, so, which is very handy. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, let's go to um, accounts, right? Um, let's go to the lighting page. So the way you do, just go to the scarecog icon, edit page. Um, and let's say, right, so you go to help. And these are the two options, view tips and mute tips. But right now we don't have any tips, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this option off, right? Usually a highlight panel is important. Uh, let's say I don't want it to keep it for whatever reason. Activate and let's see what happens. There you go. You got a tip here, right? And the tip says page has one or more empty region, right? So let's put the highlight panel back. And let's save it. And let's activate. Okay, close. And let's save. There you go. Tips have disappeared. So very handy, right? So if you do some mistakes, so we'll actually tell you uh, what you need to do to fix it. Fantastic. Well, I really like this option. My favorite. Okay, let's move on. Um, so uh, another one is that they have something called data mask they have introduced for your um, to secure a sandbox. So you got it to install that in your production, as you say. It's a managed package that you install in production org. Then you can run the masking process from any sandbox created from production org. So you can go and try that by yourself. Right. Okay. So case merge is very handy. So I think I'm not sure if you worked with case merge before. Initially, what used to happen is that when you have duplicate cases, right? When you used to merge the case, uh, so all the duplicate cases get deleted, and for that you need to have a CRUD access, right? Delete permission, right? Now what happens is that now they have changed the option. You can delete it, fine, or you can actually um, uh, keep it, right? There's something. They say you can add to your merge case list or soft deleted list, which is pretty good, right? I'll demonstrate you what I mean by that. So w w what they've done, let's go to um, setup. And uh, let's go to merge, just type case merge, right? And check, click on this option. See, it's default to this. So what do you want to do, merge case status? So let's keep it the close. Let's um, and you can add the case status you want. So now they have. So if you wanted, to, so when you merge cases, right? You can merge uh, three cases. I presume that's what it says. Uh, can consolidate up to three duplicate cases, right? So that's fantastic. So if I say this one, that will delete the duplicate cases. Right now, it won't delete it. So let's keep the option here. And I'll show you what I meant by that. These features are pretty handy, eh? Um, I tell you, if you if you're someone who works with case, I I I believe you will appreciate what they have done uh, with this new release. Uh, let's go to all closed cases, right? Um, let's merge um, three, okay? And there's a merge case here. Um, so this one I will keep it as a master and I will do next and I will do next All right now which one is the master let me search it okay so this is a master right uh, let's go to related list um, so we will see the cases straight can merge but now we wonder where is the merge case right because it says here Go to Relator, you will see the merge case. That's because uh, you do not have that thing enabled on your page layout. Now, one thing, one tip I'll tell you, uh, the way to go to your page layout from here is pretty straightforward. What are you gonna do? Just go to your Lightning uh, Edit page. And uh, just a second, go here. Um, and see, it says assigned. There are different case page layout, right? So it tells you which one you're previewing now. So case layout, I click here. 
it will take me to straight to my page layout. Um, right, so we go to related list and something called merge case, just drag and drop here and we'll save and save yes. Okay, and let's uh, go back, leave the page. Um, let's see if it's refresh. If not, we'll refresh it. There you go, the merge case. So we can see the merge case. It's not deleted because we have selected the uh, the first option, right? Pretty handy, right? Fantastic. So let's move on to the next one. Um, so we now have another option that's called a clone with related list, right? So for instance, it's 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 handy for a campaign and opportunity. Uh, let me give you an example, right? You have an opportunity, right? And you have you add a product to an opportunity. Now, when you clone it, we're using a normal clone. The products won't get cloned, right? Only the opportunity get cloned. Um, so uh, they have added something called call clone with related, so related information get cloned together as well, right? So the way to enable this, um, so you got you got it to let, let's go to opportunity first. Um. Let's see if we have any product. So I got product here, right? So we have something called clone with related and we have normal clone, right? Let's start with a normal clone, right? So to demonstrate what I mean by that, I'll keep everything same or I will keep it as say um regular uh, sorry regular clone, right? Save. Okay. Um, so we have a regular clone here, so no products get cloned, right? Which is not great, right? Because I want our products to be cloned. So let's go back again, yeah. Um, so I want. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use this clone. Hey, for whatever reason, if you don't see this information here, you need to add the button by going to your page layout. Right. Um. So I presume since you're doing maintenance, you should be very much comfortable to how to add a button to page layout, right? Just checking. Um, so go to opportunity product. Uh, so when you do that, you get this. So I'll, I say I wanted to clone the product as well. Um, so I keep I keep it as clone with product. Right. Ah, there you go. It's handy, right? Fantastic. Right. So once you do that, um so let's see if we got anything else okay so that's all you have so you can take a quiz pretty straightforward uh as you can see you know i scored it it's pretty straightforward so don't have to worry much about it um uh, the next thing we want to talk about is the permission set so let's go back uh gets hands on for permission set so uh so what they have done right so they have introduced something called permission group so let me give a scenario right so you are a sales user who have access to cases, right? Uh, but you need some exception on it. So your administrator create a permission set for you. Then you wanted to access on some other objects. So uh, so um, you will get, so uh, administrator will create another permission set for you. So you got two permission sets. Now what the permission group will do for you is that it will uh, group everything, like two of them, uh, into one group and you can assign the user to that group, right? Pretty straightforward. So we're here. So you see that? And right, and you have to do the challenge. So what I've uh, I've done a challenge. So what I've done, I'll show you what I've done as a part of this challenge. So they have asked you to create a uh, two uh, permission sets first. Um, I'll show you what I've done. Um, so we go to permission sets first. Um, so first they ask us to create a, the case permission set, which I've, which is called as case read only. Um, so I've created that. And then they have asked you to do object settings here to uh, give uh, um, read access to case. So I went to case and I, I read access and enable the read access. And I've uh, given read access to three fields, which is account name, there was a description, and there is something else, right? Um, you, you, will, you will figure out. So, right, that's all I have to do for case. 
and then I've created a for leads. Uh, with leads, it's a bit different. So that's called manage leads, right? Um, so what I have to do, first of all, you have to create a, a edit access, give edit permission to lead object. Um, so we go to leads, um, right? So, uh, so I've given a re-edit access to automatically create a read for you. So, and that's pretty much what I've done here. And then I went to the uh, app permissions. Um, and there are two things uh, I think you have to give. One is to do with uh, um, transfer, I presume. Um, they, they will ask you to do a few things on the lead, uh, transfer leads or um, something like that. Uh, transfer lead. Yeah, transfer leads and convert leads. So you need to check these two options, right? That's the that's the two things you have to do with permission sets, and then you have to do with uh, permission groups. So after that, uh, you they ask you to create a permission groups. Um, so which is straightforward. You just go and create a new permission group, and after that, you need to add these two uh, permission sets under the group. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So. Um, that's pretty much what you have to do, and once you do that, you will complete your uh, spring uh, 2020 maintenance certification. That's all. It's pretty straightforward, right? And uh, similarly, you can do what for a developer or integration designer or uh, other ones, right? So if today, my main focus was only on uh, administration one, right? Thanks, guys. That's all I wanted to cover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So. And you can see that, you know, uh, Salesforce, they care for its users. They add amazing feature every time, right? Okay, so cool. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you.